Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to another episode of One Man and His Boat. I am going to become a magician. I'm going to stun you all with my magical talents. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I don't understand it. It worked off camera. Hi guys, a very warm welcome indeed and thank you very much for joining us on another episode of One Man in His Boat and I know it's been a wee while. Um, basically all I can do is apologise to you all, there's been a lot happening here at One Man in His Boat as you can see by the uh, intro clip. <laughs> um, I did want it all finished for you, uh, however things have not panned out that way and I thought I'd better make an update vlog for you all uh, just to make sure that I'm still alive and I'm still hashing on. Uh, even though you're not getting to see it. For those that you follow us on social media, you know exactly where we're up to. For those that you don't, this is why I'm making this vlog. Right, I'll sh be quiet now and we'll have a little roll through with the camera, shall we? Guys, there we go. I hope you liked the little run through what we've actually completed on the boat. Uh, there's still lots to do, there's still lots to tidy up. Uh, this is not the final product, so don't leave a comment saying, oh, you missed a bit here, you done a bit there. I know, I'm getting there, I'm only one man, hence the name of the title, One Man in His Boat. <laughs> oh yes, I know the welder's been I, but it's the only person 
Apart from the hydraulic, aye, okay. I should say several people in his boat then, eh? <laughs> right, anyway guys, um, what we've had to do is replace the 2mm stainless steel with 5mm plate and because of where it is on the vessel, uh, most 21s usually start away back here for their plate for the pots coming up uh, and it's nice and straight. However, because we're further forward, we have got, I don't know if I can show you it, here's a second guys, we've obviously got the, the bend off the boat but there's also a slight twist as well. And yeah, this was the only solution that we could find to get a good uh, fixing to the boat itself. Now I know some of you are going to say, there's a sharp lip there Barry. But once the welder's been filled in these gaps and we get it all buffed down, that's going to get um, cataloid, basically a talcum uh, fiberglass fibre. And we're going to make that nice and flush so that when, if the creels do decide to come up this way, uh, there'll be nothing for it to catch on. Right. Next update, scupper covers. Now, I know I kept harping on when I made the scupper covers vlog for you, the, about how fantastic the stainless steel ones would be and all the rest of it, but actually dry fitting them for this size of vessel, I actually put the shape off the boat. Now, you all know I'm a traditional fisherman and I like boats a certain way and if it was taking the shape away from the boat, then it's no good for me. So this is the solution that I've come up with. Old fashioned, but works a treat, I think. Just a uh, two millimeter stainless steel flat bar, five holes drilled in it, and lovely PVC um, flappy stuff. You know where you're getting the curtains in the freezers and stuff like that. That's all that is. And I think that's a lot better than like black matting and stuff like that. Just kind of, you get the colour of the boat from a distance and that. So yeah, right, next. So obviously guys, you can see the cat catcher in the gantry and the handrails behind us. Now the handrails aren't finished because the welder's still going to come back to do that. And I'll explain about that in a little while. However, cat catcher, absolutely lovely. Strong as an ox. We're going in for a closer look guys. Holders. Right guys, part of your MCA requirement for new vessels is to have an escape ladder at ready. Now I fitted a permanent one, you can have rope ones that hang on your uh, handrails and stuff like that, I mean that's all acceptable. But you know Barry and his ott -ness. This is, uh, I've still to work out a system how I'm going to get it down to the sea level. However, this one is absolutely fantastic. I've already been running up and down it a few times and it holds my weight quite happily and I'm not exactly what you call a light bugger. <laughs> so yeah, that's now uh, fitted properly. Uh, obviously we've still got a handrail to go on in this section. I will say this, uh, MCA state that all new boats must have a, a handrail one meter from the deck. Now, obviously, because we're putting a handrail in for safety, um, one meter on a little boat is pretty ruddy high. So that's why we're having difficulties actually fitting it and making it nice for the boat. Now, we had a little attempt at this and we basically knackered up the, the pole itself because it kinked. Yes, I know you can fill it with sand, but unless you've got the proper die to grip that, um, pole then it will kink so we'll have to wait and we need to get one rollered hydraulically rollered from a professional and that at the minute seems to be a bit hard to find so right well we'll go inside the boat and we'll have a wee blather about what I've done in there yeah so as you can see guys we've got this lovely 25 millimeter um, grating it's fiberglass grating uh, you can get it online just put in GRP grid and it should come up with something like this now it's not cheap, it's not the cheapest stuff, but by God, I mean, look at this guys, I can take my weight no problem, look, I'm not going to bounce too hard because the boat's still <laughs> st still on a hard standing as it were, yeah, but I can take my weight no problem, so yeah, 
Happy days. Then obviously we've got our light belt holders at the back. EPIRB. Now, part of the MCA requirement as well is that all new boats must have EPIRB. In fact, all boats must have EPIRB now. Uh, so that's already attached there and it's a float free version. So if the boat sinks, the EPIRB can jettison itself. And obviously it's away from the boat, so it shouldn't get tangled up in any of the mastage. Now talk about the mastage. As you can see, the mast is already done, complete. So guys, uh, for my lights on the gantry, what I've done is I went and had a good read of the collision regulations, that's for the UK, and basically I had a wee decision to make. Now, my vessel is under 7 metres and it's probably going to be under 7 knots at maximum steam. So I could have got away with an all-round white light. However, I don't know what kind of fishing I'm going to be doing in the future. So I've went for everything, basically. <laughs> you know Baz, he does everything, no TT. And I've got uh, all-round red, got the anchor light, got the steaming lights uh, front and aft, and then I've got my navigation lights. So I'm well covered for any type of fishing that I want to do. Uh, if I ever want to go towing, I just need to stick a green, uh, all-round green light up there. So yeah, uh, just covering all the bases really. Now as you can see guys, uh, we were able to put these pads in. And because they pads in, I was actually able to put the uh, pole in for uh, holding my fenders etc. Because we found out that actually, once the pads were on, it was actually easier to do weld all this on the boat. So the handrail, one metre from the deck, is actually from there basically right across to where the handle is on the console. See the black handle on the hydraulics? That's where it's going to go. So yeah, obviously it's a sweeping deck so it gets actually a wee bit shorter at the top because obviously the gunnel rises up. But yeah, still got that to do. There's the parts over there and we just need this top bit rolled because we're, when we're rolling it with the, the hand hydraulic pump it was just creasing, especially the further round we were getting to the actual corner of the boat, this quarter stem there. It was, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. So one of these pipes is not cheap, so we kind of go wasting too many of them. So what's next, guys? Um, I need to get tidied up here. These parts on the uh, gunnels for holding in the metal bar needs sanded down and uh, basically painted up. Uh, we need to get another coat down here. This needs all sorted out. The engine hatch needs sorted out. These little hatches need sorted out. And one more thing is until the welders got this bit here done, I can't do anything in here. Because uh, basically all the wires are going to be in the road, etc, etc. So yeah. And we all good luxury ships. I've even got a kiddies uh, play sand. <laughs> yeah, but we're getting there, guys. We really are getting there. Um, lobster season starts in two weeks, so there's no chance I'm going to make it this season. Uh, but that's by the by. We're nearly done with the Lindsay B, and we'll just have to figure out how on earth we're going to get it out. That little gap over there. Right guys, we've had a few questions on how we're going to get the Lindsay B out of the shed. Well, basically we're going to do old school. It's a traditional boat. I'm a traditional fisherman. We're going to do it the traditional way. And that is basically by scaffolding pole. What we're going to do is put the poles down on the floor, drop the boat onto the poles, and then we're going to drag her by my brand new three ton um, chain block sideways. And then what we'll do is we'll drag her forward out the shed Failing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get like kidnap 15 bodies <laughs> and basically manually drag her out. That's the way it's going to happen. Uh, so there's no ifs and buts yet um, or whens definitely. Uh, obviously you can see we've still got a lot of work to do. But it's building boats guys, it is not easy uh, and it's not cheap. That's, that's for certainty and you can forget about family life and your weekends. <laughs> And especially if you're making YouTube videos, then you definitely have no time. So, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And once you've subscribed, tap that notification bell and YouTube will make you feel very special indeed. Stay safe. Until your next vlog, my friends, which will hopefully be next week. 
All the very best.